Hi YouTube and welcome to the second episode of Die Hard Wednesday. This is a new series that I'm starting on my YT channel. Basically it's a personal challenge for me to get my dyes out and use them. I also have a crafty friend that is going to participate in this challenge with me. Her name is Shantae and her YT channel is Shatana. I will have a link in the description box below. This series will be hosted every other Wednesday. Our next video will be posted on December the 16th. So you guys mark your calendar for that. I hope that we provide some inspiration for you guys to get your dyes out and start using them in your projects. I know that there are a lot of die hard fans here on YouTube and I would love to see what you create as well. So if you are inspired by what you see in our videos, just make sure you um, contact us and let us know you have a video and I'll make sure to watch and see what you create. There are other crafters here on YouTube that are doing the same thing. They're challenging themselves to get their stamps, their dies, or whatever out and start using them. You have Steph and Kim, they're doing the use your stamp. You also have Jamie, who is Poetic Spice. She's doing the uh, die challenge as well. And her videos are also on Wednesdays. So make sure you guys check her out as well to see what she creates today. So without further ado, let's get to the fun stuff. Um, but I want to share with you the dies that I use because that's the whole focus of the challenge, the dies, right? So let me share with you real quickly the dies I use. I'm gonna go rather quickly. If you have any questions, just make sure you comment below and I'll respond. I use the My Creative Time, December 25th. The La La Land Corner Die. That's the small one, um, the gray one there. That's a La La Land corner die. I used, this is a stamp and die set. And I didn't use the stamps, I just used the die and I used the, um, you know, the deer head there. I used some of these snowflake embellishments. MFT. The Reef Die, this is uh, Dynamics. Gina Marie Designs, I use the Lamp Post, this one right here. Lawn Fun, I use the Scripty Joy. This Dereese Die that I picked up from Tuesday morning. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of these and I was so happy to break out and you know to create with one of these. So that's the Christmas bell. Here's another Dereese die, the snowflakes. Kind of getting them out of order here, okay. And I use this one right here. That's the one I used. Spellbinders, the holiday collection. I use the lattice ornaments. And I use this die right here and this one right here. I use this cuddle bug embossing folder. That's the dots. These little doodabs I got from Audrey. So good all. This really came in handy, Audrey. Thank you. This cuddle bug die, uh, not die, embossing folder. The um, Anna Griffin Christmas dies. I use the Merry Christmas. This one right here. The TM Host Alterations, the um, Script Christmas Dies, I use the Noel, and I use some of this embossed um, paper, 6x6 pad from Hobby Lobby. I believe that is everything I use. So what I created today, I created some 3x3 note cards. Um, Shantae and I thought it would be fun to do some note cards. She's doing a challenge over on Crafters with Artitude. Six note cards with envelopes and a container to put them in, to put them in so they can be a nice gift to someone. So that's what we decided um, both of us to do today. So let me share with you what I created. Here's the first one. And you can see the dies featured there. Um, here's the embossed paper on the reindeer head, or the deer head, I should say. Here's that December 25th. 
and you can see that beautiful embossing on that foil paper. I am really into the foil right now, so you know I had to do it. They are finished in the back as well. However, they are blank in the inside so that the recipient can use them as they see fit. So I left them blank in the inside. Here's the matching envelope to that. So that's the first set. Okay, um, here's the second one. You can see that beautiful Doris die, the snowflake ornament, and a center there in the center of the uh, snowflake. I love the embossed foil paper. Super, super cute. And here's the matching envelope to that one. You can see that. And that paper is embossed. You can see that. It's so, so pretty. And I use December the 25th on all the envelopes so it can look good presentation wise as presentation wise as a gift so that's why I, you know chose to do that like that I will have pictures too of all of the um, three by three cards so you guys tune in to that you know you can see how they look a lot better all together okay here's the next one you can see that lattice ornament feature there with the la la land um, corners and that embossing, I love that embossing folder. It is so pretty. And here's the matching envelope with that. My main focus, you know, were the dies and um, to not use uh, really very many embellishments, just mainly focus on the dies. And that was my goal. Okay, here's the next one. Let's see the Noel, the cute um, bell, the La La Land corner. And here's the matching envelope with that one. You can see the paper is embossed. It is so pretty. Love that. Okay. Here's the next one. You can see that lamp post is so pretty. The La La Land corner with just a embellishment there in the center of the corner die. Here's the matching envelope with that one. And here's my last one. You can see the um, MFT die, the wreath. I use the cute little embellishment in the center of the bow, the joy. And here's the matching envelope for that one. I think these turned out super, super cute. And let me share with you my little container I put together for uh, the cards to go in. So I have this little box for everything to be packaged in. You can see that Merry Christmas and a Griffin die is so pretty on this box. This is a, a Martha Stewart box that I picked up maybe a year or so ago when they were clearanced out around Christmas time. So I've had it in my stash for a while. And so I decided to use this. You can also use like a fry box and include some um, Christmas embellishments um, in the box as well with the note cards. And that will be a super, super cute gift um, to give someone, especially your crafty friends or family members. I also use this beautiful um, red and gold bow with a, um, what do you call it, a little bell there in the center really quick to whip up and like I said it's all about the presentation and the thought that you put into it that makes it a really really lovely gift uh, um, before I go today and you guys go check out Shantae I want to share with you our first winner yay so I used random.org there were 39 comments on my video what I did was I picked a you know random number and um I went and checked to make sure that that person was subscribed to Shantae and commented on her video as well. And um, the winning number was 36. I had to choose quite a bit, you know, times because the person either commented on my video and not Shantae's or subscribed to me and not Shantae and vice versa. So make sure you guys are subscribed to both of us. Make sure you comment on both videos so that you can be eligible for giveaways. 
Um, our first winner is Stamp Girl. I guess it's S T M P G R L. Um, she has won a fifteen dollar um, into her PayPal account. So make sure you contact me at Crimson and Cream Six at AOL.com so I can send your fifteen dollars to your PayPal account. Make sure in the subject line you put um, Die Hard Wednesday winner so that I can, you know, find it a lot easier in my email. So I hope you guys will tune in um, December the 16th for our um, next video. And um, I hope this has provided some inspiration for you guys to whip out some 3 by 3 note cards and see what you come up with. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Slideshow with you.